I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We're in Frederick, Maryland at Volt with my very good friend Brian Voltaggio. How are you, Brian? Doing well. Doing well. Hanging with Harris, man. You so are happy. hanging with Harris. Good day. Good day. Time. Me, you, and the fish yes, are hanging with Harris. Yes, and the fish are, are, are buddy of the Arctic Char. Besides really great food, Give me a little bit of your philosophy, your background, this, that. Yeah, Where does all this come from? Well, um, you know, obviously I grew up in Frederick, so I, I kind of came home after. Hometown you know, boy. Yeah, absolutely. So a long time working for Charlie Palmer in New York and D.C. Sure. Um, I want to get back to closer to agriculture. And so Volt is very much about, um, you know, sourcing local, sustainable, it's organic very ingredients. Local, everything. This fish right here, this, this fish comes from a very small fishing village. In New seven, Jersey? No, not quite New Jersey. <laughs> uh, Nenevut, Canada. So all very right. cold, 700 Eskimo. Uh, village, I guess, okay. 700 people live there. And they sustain their entire year fishing for this char. Right. And um, 13 weeks out of the year when the ice breaks, they, they go out and actually do single pole. So it's a sustainable fish because the way that they're, they're sure. going after you know, the, the But that really char. fits into your philosophy. It does, it you know, does. Local so everything, mm -hmm. this is supporting yeah. that town. You're exactly. using local stuff here. This char explains Volt. It does explain Volt. Obviously, when you're, you're picking fish, you're looking for a few things. You know, One is very clean eyes. You can see it's you know, a beautiful right. looking Right, it doesn't look hungover. Yeah, the, the gills have been good. taken out, and that's a part of their practice. Um, but typically, you're looking for really bright, um, clean gills. It should smell like the ocean and not like fish. Yeah. You know? It's surprising. So um, a couple of things around fish, it's already been viscerated, so you know it's clean. This fish has been also scaled. Uh, we're gonna have to worry about it because we're gonna skin it. Okay. Um, biggest thing is with a round fish, the bone runs down to the back. All right, so, so it's cleaned out, gills are out, yes. and now we're going to- Behind the uh, front fin, I'm gonna... uh, down around the back of the collar of the fish. We're gonna just do an insert cut, um, bring the knife back out. You see there's a bone right there. Yeah, that I, I ran I the knife that down. Bone. Yep. Okay, so I met the vertebrae. Okay, okay meet at this, the vertebrae. At this point now, we're going to run down the back of the fish. Oh, I can hear that. Yeah, we are breaking through some bones. And so we're gonna use that as a guide and run the f knife all the way down and to the take tail. It off half take the it out all the way down. There you go. And we just pull that Beautiful. off. And, and now you gotta do the same the thing on the other side. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing. This side is harder, so I'll let you do it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, it is, because this is where you do you, you need to be uh, a little bit more careful. Sure. Um, oh, I'm watching the whole with thing. With the cuts. So we're wow. going to start in on the back here. Fabulous. And that head's going to come right off. And do we save the head too? Uh, yeah, we will <laughs> use everything actually. Like um, not not for this dish. Not but, for this yeah, dish. But we can if we if I'm we just, were. I'm just watching over your shoulder here. Now we're going back down this. You got to break through more stuff. Here comes the cracking right now. You hear the it was cracking? A good fish. It was a good fish. So I'm gonna come out. Yeah, and not slice through my stomach. And not stab stomach. you. Great. Um, at this point now, I, I've left the uh, belly on because okay. I want to be careful. I'm watching the whole thing. This is fantastic. You can slide that out. So this is literally a fillet okay. fish. Okay, and what I have here left, you can see there's still meat on the bones. Um, this is all great meat. If you're at home, you do get a whole fish. Just take a spoon. You can kind of scrape that oh, flesh off. Oh, get that meat. Yeah, you can use this for a tartare or something. Can like I put that. that in rice right now and do a little? Oh, absolutely. With it? Yeah, yeah. It'd be delicious. Okay, oh, there are I, bones I, I running down. So we this side of we're gonna pull those off. We're gonna cheat. Yeah. Okay. But you can actually get a lot of the bones out right now just from this. Yeah, the the bones that are running down the face of the fillet right there. We can sure. Get great. that off. Um, oh, that really comes again. Right all of this belly, uh, we you save. Can use that. Yeah. Yeah, we will use that. That'll be a canapé on one of the tables. Okay, so now you see that there's a line of bones, 33, oh, yeah. Yeah. 33 in all. We go in there gently, gently. So this is a little, this is a process here. You want to try no, this? I, I do want to try it. I, I am an expert at deboning fish. Okay, go for it. I'm going for it. Oh, and you just come straight back? Yes, see that? Yes, and now we have 20, 29 more? 29 more. You thought this was gonna be faster, Yeah, I thought right? this was gonna be fast. Oh no, this is good, I'm like a zen master. Once we go to the portion yep. this, we're gonna, we're gonna make a brine, and a brine has 5% um, of the total weight of the water, and salt. What this brine will do is um, two things. I mean, it won't really season the fish because it won't be in there long. I'll be in there for 10 minutes. What it's going right. to do is it's actually going to clean the fish, like the outside. Oh. Okay, so at this point, it's all deboned. Uh, we're going to skin the fish now, and we're just going to run a knife and just literally against the skin. Literally just rock it back and forth. Yeah, sure. Keeping tension on the skin. You gently flip it over. Right. And then pull wow. it off. Oh, oh I see. We're literally so we're just going to yeah, remove some of the fat. So now what we're doing is we're going to cut about one and a half to two ounce portion. We and then going we're going to go to the brine. We're going to go to the brine for 10 minutes. So we're going to let it brine, and we're going to head to the vacuum chamber. To the vacuum chamber, And prepare yes. the chamber. <laughs> okay, let's okay, go. Okay, great. Let's, let's go. go.
Okay, we have come back from the vacuum chamber, yes. and now we're going from one vacuum chamber to the sous vide. We have it set at 49.5 degrees Celsius. We're okay. looking for a flaky, somewhat translucent look to the fish uh, when, when it flakes. Seven minutes up, we're done. But you can see it's, um, it's firm slightly, yeah. but it still almost looks like it's raw. It's such a soft cooking technique. This way, you're, you're not losing any of the flavor of the fish into the broth or into the poaching liquid. You're actually keeping everything within the bag. All this is is char. It just tastes like yeah. char. But now we're going to add a little bit of smoke to it. So. Hay. Hay has been smoking in here, and so you could, it's an incredible aroma. It really um, smells great. Yeah, so it, it's really great, and it's very easy to smoke. So you just get a nice cast iron pot, get it hot, it'll do the rest for just you. Just have a nice cast iron hot pot and an 800 degree cast iron yes. oven. Just so besides we, that, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Gently just place them in yep. the cocotte. In the cocotte. In the cocotte, yes. Right. You can see the, the, the smoke is, yeah. is billowing out, so now we're just going to cover it and let it capture it. We're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Smoke is acid, and so when you add some acidic flavor to it, it helps to brighten so, the dish. And it's a great balance, but right. there's also, I'm impressed. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we're, we're gonna soften it though. We're gonna add a little bit of fat so we have some sour cream. Okay. We're gonna freeze this first uh, with some nitrogen. And this just instantly freezes it? Uh, yeah, so it's negative 300 degrees. Uh, so yeah, I think that would pretty much oh, freeze anything. Oh, I can already anything. just freezing anything. So we're, we're just letting this uh, freeze to the point where it becomes you know rock solid, and then we're gonna actually use a blender to puree it into a powder. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like your ice. That just... Yeah, so I mean, you can see now it's frozen. And that is, we got a powder. Yeah, so we got a powder now. Fish is close. Let's check our fish. Oh okay. my god, look at it. Uh, fish yeah, is like... we're, we're pulling that out now. We're there, okay. Yeah, so let's pull that out. All right, fish is coming out. We're going to take some of the sour cream that's unfrozen, and we're just going to yes. kind of gently roll that around the bottom of the plate. All right. Yeah, technique. This, is, this is my, my technique. <laughs> yeah. So and you, do you get this, in there and you do that. Do something like you. <laughs> yeah. Some of the mountain uh, huckleberries. OK. Kind of place some just gently on one side there. All right. OK, that's kind of a mess, but that's cool. We're going to take some of these greens, gently just tossing some of these. Yes. And we're going to scatter them. Make it beautiful. On the dish. And you can kind of um, get in there and do some of yeah, this. Yeah, I'll do some like. of this. Yeah. Uh, some mustard flowers. And those are these, edible. Uh, they are <laughs> I edible. Would so these you have to do the Yeah, scissor. I'll let you clip them. I will clip them. And just let them clip and just let them fall into the plate. So just slice some rings. And it's just uh, simply just our, you know, we took ramp bulbs and when they're in season, we pickled yep. them. It's a great way to take product, you know, that's in season. We, you know, keep it through to the winter. So we have our fish. We do have our fish. We're going to flake the fish over top of the greens. All right. So is there a technique to flaking? Or we're just going to uh, break it up. just going to break it up. Just gonna lay it over the. You're doing it just like that. So, oh my God. some of our uh, spinach capers. Some of the capers from the garden. Right. So just uh, a few on top of the fish. Wow. Yep. And then I'm gonna come behind you with the uh, sour cream. Again, I have, also have a lemon puree here. Right, hang on, beautiful capers. Let me see. Good job. Good job. A little overpowering on the capers, but that's okay. No, it's okay. All right, and then uh, some oil. So this is the chive oil. Place it over the top. Chive oil. Come in with our frozen sour cream, right? Yep. Light sprinkle over the top. Yes. And that's it. I have white powder on a big spoon. <laughs> yes, okay. you do. Have fun. Look at me, I'm perfect. <laughs> Straight as a line. What do we call this dish? A hay smoked uh, Arctic char. I should get the whole thing, right? Yeah, you should. You should get a good bite. Get some of the berries. I'm getting some of the berries. Some of the lemon. The greens and the lemons. I'm gonna mix it up. There you go. See? And Does it then come it together? All comes together. I'm Billy Harris. <laughs> You've been hanging with Harris, my very good friend Brian yes, Voltaggio. Yes, it was great hanging with you. Hanging out in Volt in Frederick, Maryland. When you're here, stop by. Have an amazing dining experience, and we'll see you real soon. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh my God. Delicious.